Today friends, Paul gives us three beautiful images of the church. Crumbs from Jarab. I hope to come to you soon, but I am writing these instructions to you so that if I am delayed, you may know how one ought to behave in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and bulwark of the truth. Paul is writing to Timothy. Timothy was in Ephesus and he tells that I plan to come to Ephesus. But just in case I don't make it over there, I want to tell you how you must behave in the church. And now he gives us three images of the church. How does he build up these images? We must remember that in those days the church met in households and he uses that very image for the church. So first, a household, a family gathering. And that's what the church is, where you are accepted as you are. You can be yourself knowing that you are loved no matter what. And the household is a home, the household of God. We are all family members of God. And so it means that God himself first of all accepts us and loves us as we are. And therefore all of us are called to live as brothers and sisters in the Lord. That's what the church is called to be. Second, the word church that is given over here is a Greek word that means chosen, called out. And that's what the church is. The church are people who are called out for a mission. If a church doesn't live out that mission, the church will atrophy. As what Pope Francis says, I am a mission. Our very nature is to be on a mission. And the third image he gives us, the pillar and bulwark of the truth. What is the pillar? The pillar is upon which the truth can stand. And then we are said a bulwark of the truth, that which sustains and supports the truth. And that's what the church is called to be, by what it says, but more importantly, by its very being. Now the important question is, who is the church? You and me. So am I part of that family? Do I make people feel part of the family, my family? And do I accept people as they are and love them as they are? Do I believe that I am chosen and called out for a special mission? And do I stand up for the truth? And do I live with the truth? And therefore now, a minute meditation for you. Can you recall a time when you chose to stand for the truth, even when it meant standing alone or being in the minority? And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day with Jesus.